Who is the head of Indian Railways? A. General Manager B. Principal Chief Engineer C. Chairman Railway Board and CEO D. Member Railway Board Answer C. Chairman Railway Board and CEO Who is the head of the Engineering Department in Indian Railways? A. General Manager B. Principal Chief Engineer C. Chief Track Engineer D. Member Infrastructure Answer D. Member Infrastructure Who is the Regional Zonal Head of the Engineering Department? A. Principal Chief Engineer B. Senior Divisional Engineer C. Chief Track Engineer D. Member Engineering Answer A. Principal Chief Engineer Who is the Divisional Head of the Engineering Department? A. Chief Track Engineer B. Senior Divisional Engineer Coordination C. Chief Track Engineer D. Divisional Engineer Answer B. Senior Divisional Engineer Coordination Full Form of DRM A. Deputy Railway Manager B. Divisional Railway Manager C. District Railway Manager D. None of these Answer B. Divisional Railway Manager Width of flange of 60 kg rail A. 150 mm B. 172 mm C. 167 mm D. 180 mm Answer A. 150 mm Height of 60 kg rail A. 150 mm B. 172 mm C. 167 mm D. 180 mm Answer B. 172 mm Thickness of web of 60 kg rail A. 15.5 mm B. 17.5 mm C. 16.5 mm D. 16.7 mm Answer C. 16.5 mm Thickness of web of 52 kg rail A. 15.5 mm B. 17.5 mm C. 16.5 mm D. 16.7 mm Answer A. 15.5 mm Height of 52 kg rail A. 150 mm B. 172 mm C. 167 mm D. 156 mm Answer D. 156 mm Width of flange of 52 kg rail A. 150 mm B. 172 mm C. 167 mm D. 136 mm Answer D. 136 mm Minimum length of permanent rail closure on running line on other than LWR track A. 13 meters B. 11 meters C. 5.5 meters D. 6.5 meters Answer C. 5.5 meters Minimum length of permanent rail closure on approach of bridge on other than LWR track A. 13 meters B. 11 meters C. 5.5 meters D. 6.5 meters Answer B. 11 meters Minimum length of temporary rail closure on LWR A. 4 meters B. 6.5 meters C. 5.5 meters D. 9 meters Answer A. 4 meters Minimum length of rail closure during emergency repair if LWR buckles A. 4 meters B. 6.5 meters C. 5.5 meters D. 9 meters Answer B. 6.5 meters Push trolley on foot inspection of the whole section by assistant divisional engineer on 110 km per hour and higher routes. A. 2 months B. 1 month C. 5 months D. 4 months Answer D. 4 months Inspection of passenger turnout by assistant divisional engineer A. 
12 months b 3 months c 1 month d 6 months answer a 12 months curve inspection by assistant divisional engineer a one curve of each ssc pue every 2 months b one curve of each ssc pue every 3 months c one curve of each ssc pue every 4 months d none of these answer d none of these inspection of level crossing by assistant divisional engineer a 2 months b 1 month c 5 months d 6 months answer d 6 months frequency of inspection of lwr by assistant divisional engineer in a year a 2 times b 1 time c 4 times d 3 times Answer A. 2 times. Minimum inspection frequency of at welding sites by assistant divisional engineer. A. At least one site per month. B. At least two sites per month. C. One site every two months. D. Six months. Answer A. At least one site per month. Frequency of tunnel inspection by assistant divisional engineer. A. Before monsoon each year. B. After monsoon each year. C. Once in the coldest month of the year. D. None of these. Answer. A. Before monsoon each year. Frequency of bridge inspection by assistant divisional engineer. A. Before monsoon each year. B. After monsoon each year. C. Once in the hottest month of the year. D. None of these. Answer. B. After monsoon each year. Inspection frequency of steel channel sleepers by assistant divisional engineer. A. Once per year. B. Twice per year on a rotational basis. C. Once every two years on a rotational basis. D. None of these. Answer. A. Once per year. Private siding inspection by Aden. A. 12 months. B. 6 months. C. 3 days. D. 2 months. Answer. A. 12 months. Night foot plate inspection by JSSE. P. Way. Sectional. A. 3 months. B. 1 month. C. 2 months. D. 12 months. Answer. Foot push trolley inspection of the entire section by in charge SSE. P. Way. On route higher than 110 km per hour. A. 2 months. B. 1 month. C. 5 months. D. 6 months. Answer. A. 2 months. Level crossing inspection. Alternate months. By in charge SSE. P. Way. A. 2 months. B. 1 month. C. 5 months. D. 6 months. Answer. B. 1 month. Inspection of gang tools by J. SSE. P. Way. Other than in charge or sectional. A. Once a week. B. 1 month. C. 3 months. D. 6 months. Answer. A. Once a week. Inspection of passenger turnout. Alternate months. By in charge SSE. P. Way. A. 2 months. B. 1 month. C. 3 months. D. 6 months. Answer. C. 3 months. Inspection of LWR by in charge SSE. P. Way. In the coldest and hottest months of the year. A. 2 months. B. 1 month. C. 15 days. D. 6 months. Answer. C. 15 days. Inspection of LWR by in charge SSE. P. Way. In months other than the coldest and hottest. A. 2 months. B. 1 month. C. 15 days. D. 6 months. Answer. A. 2 months. Inspection of private siding by in charge SSE. P. Way. A. 2 months. B. 3 months. C. 15 days. D. 6 months. Answer. D. 6 months. Passenger turnout inspection. Alternate months. By J. P. Way. A. 2 months. B. 1 month. C. 3 months. D. 6 months. Answer. C. 3 months. LWR inspection by J. P. Way. 
in months other than the coldest and hottest alternate a 2 months b 1 month c 15 days d 6 months answer a 2 months lwr inspection by j p way in the coldest and hottest months of the year a 2 months b 1 month c 15 days d 6 months answer c 15 days push trolley inspection of the entire section by j s s c p way sectional on routes less than 110 km per hr and non multiple line routes a 2 months b 1 month c 15 days d 6 months answer c 15 days level crossing inspection alternate months by j p way a 2 months b 1 month c 3 months d 6 months answer b 1 month night foot plate inspection by j p way a 15 days b 1 month c 3 months d 6 months answer b 1 month how often will the kimen oil the sej a 15 days b 1 month c 3 months d 6 months answer a 15 days service life of 60 kg 90 uts rail on routes other than rgm a 525 gmt b 800 gmt c 350 gmt d 1000 gmt answer b 800 gmt service life of 52 kg 90 uts rail a 525 gmt b 800 gmt c 350 gmt d 900 gmt answer a 525 gmt hardness of 90 uts rail a 260 bhn b 800 bhn c 350 bhn d 1000 bhn answer a 260 bhn standard gap on fish plate joints a 6 mm b 15 mm c 6.5 mm d 7.5 mm answer a 6 mm maximum gap on fish plate joints a 6 mm b 15 mm c 6.5 mm d 7.5 mm answer 15 mm how much gap is kept on machine joint a 0 b 15 mm c 6.5 mm d none of these answer a 0 mm distance of first hole from rail end to make a gapless joint a 80 mm b 83 mm c 166 mm d none of these answer b 83 mm battering is measured at what distance from the end of the rail a 300 mm b 15 mm c 12 mm d none of these answer a 300 mm maximum permitted shear stress in 1990 uts rail a 90 kg mm superscript 2 b 22.5 kg mm superscript 2 c 26.5 kg mm superscript 2 d 260 kg mm superscript 2 answer b 22.5 kg mm superscript 2 service life of 60 kg 90 uts rail on rail grinding routes a 525 gmt b 800 gmt c 350 gmt d 1000 gmt answer d 1000 gmt